Hey everyone, this is Kyle and I'm making this video today to show you one of the pure raw fruit and vegetable meals that I make, uh, particularly for lunch or dinner or breakfast for that matter. Um, and I, I, at one time I used to call it the veggie burger, but that name has been used so many times in restaurants and products that I end up naming it my apple burger. And I'm going to show you how to make that. If you if you make it the way I do, and there's variants, you can kind of use your imagination to alter the ingredients. But if you make this, it'll be very filling and, and very uh, nutritious. And I think you'll actually really enjoy the taste of it. I love it. And you're going to get to watch me eat one here in just a minute. But I'm going to uh, show you actually what I've prepared, and then we'll begin to put it together. Okay, here are my ingredients. nice green veggies here uh, like a, a spinach I actually I think this is uh, kumatsuna but it's pretty much in the same uh, family as the as spinach I've got thinly sliced carrots thinly sliced onions avocado oh yes I love avocado did I say that did I say I, I love avocado yes I do tomatoes mmm apples and some of you may not like eating this raw but it's actually quite good and that's eggplant okay got some uh, thinly uh, thinly sized eggplant here okay all right well let's begin to make the apple burger okay I'm gonna take two slices of apple and this is gonna be my my bread if you were to think of a, of a burger or a sandwich, this is going to be my bread, okay? So I'm just going to lay these out on my plate here. Now, you can kind of do this however you want. I tend to put some lettuce or, or uh, uh, some kind of greens, vegetables, and I, I'm not stingy with it. I go ahead and pack it on there, okay? So that I've got something that, you know, looks like such. Then I take a nice big piece of tomato, put it on top of there. Ah, so far so good, yeah? Then I'll take a couple of carrot strips, lay those across there. Take some, maybe one or two more because those are really healthy and I want to keep those in my diet. Onions are really here just for flavor. There's not a lot of nutritious value in onions. I mean, there, there are some, but uh, you don't want to make this a primary part of your diet because uh, it is primarily a sugar uh, that kind of fits into the fruit group almost. But put it on there because it sure adds a nice little kick, uh, unless you don't like onions. Okay? All right. Next, I'm going to take some avocado slices okay mmm nice pieces of avocado and I'm gonna put two or three strips of these on there they, they've been cut in thin slices so that I can lay them out all right it's kind of hard to see this the way it is but I'll kind of try to show you here so far it looks like that. And then I'm going to put some more greens on top of it to kind of seal the deal. I want to make sure I get a lot of greens in my diet. The fiber in these is very important for digestion, uh, helping you clean out your colon, make sure that you know your, your, body, your body functions are operating on a, you know well on a daily basis and just to get all the junk and crud out of your body not to mention the uh, you know spinach and broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts though they have a, a wealth of protein a lot of people don't understand that, that that vegetables actually have protein and a slew of amino acids 
which are equally important. Now, I'm going to take the other piece of carrot, I, I mean uh, apple, and put it back on, put it on top. Now, what I have is an apple sandwich or an apple burger. Okay? <laughs> Watch this. Now, I might look like a pig when I eat this, but it'll sure be good. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. 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 That's so good, it makes me want to talk with my mouth full. You have got to try this. It's very easy, very low calorie. It's a good distribution between vegetables and fruit. Uh, there's no nuts or seeds in here, but those are good for a, a snack during the day. And I, I recommend trying different things. Uh, replacing some things with banana. A uh, banana is good in here. Um, so you want to have a little bit of sweetness. The apples bring some sweetness. The avocado brings a nice uh, piece of uh, fat, which is good healthy fat. The veggies, of course, bring the veggies. The carrots, the uh, spinach, the uh, tomatoes, and then just a nice, delicious, healthy meal. Low calorie. Mm. Now, believe it or not, just one apple sandwich like that is very filling. You'd be amazed at how full you are. But if you are really hungry, I nearly guarantee you that just eating two of them, which is still very low calorie, will definitely fill you up and you won't be hungry for hours. A couple hours later, a few hours later, come back and eat another low calorie apple sandwich if you have some ingredients left over or make some more. It's an excellent snack, it's an excellent meal. Um, add your needs, and, uh, seeds and nuts to it and you'll have a, a good healthy uh, food lifestyle. Well that wraps it up for today. If you have any recipes of your own, uh, please share them, especially if they are pure raw fruit and vegetable seed and nuts. Um, I'm particularly interested in seeing those, but if you have anything even, even near that, make a video, show it. Or give me a recipe. Maybe I'll try it and I'll show it. Anyway, until next time, we'll see you. This is Kyle.